there are 15 plus master's degree or master's program in united states that can help you transition into tech industry uh, these are from tech people or non tech people who wants to break into tech industry and it's not masters in computer science so these are other than masters in computer science and also all of these program are stem program which means you will get the opt plus 2 years of stem extension i hope you find this valuable let's go number 1 is becoming more and more booming and popular masters in business analytics or msba masters of science in business analytics again there is a combination of analytics world uh, like how to analyze the data but then in from the business perspective so there is a lot of knowledge of business and how business work how leadership work communication and all of that with the combining of data and how to analyze the data and etc what are the typical career roles you can get out of this one is obviously business analyst data analyst bi engineer bi developer data scientist data engineer even marketing analyst operations analyst any kind of supply chain analyst any kind of analytical roles which apply to like business those apply in this case by the way if you want me to like make a detailed video about each of this masters program let me know i would love to make a detailed video about each of this masters program and if you also want me to compare this masters degree with another masters degree let me know that as well in the comment section next one is very similar but it's a little different because it's masters in data analytics so it's hardcore data analytics program or even sometimes there is masters in data science so it's very very similar in data analytics it's purely focused on analytics or uh, and the data related world they might have some specialization from business marketing operation supply chain or masters in data science is science behind the data and that might involve a lot of numbers and statistics and maths and all of that so again make sure to look at the coursework before you choose these program because these are not non programming courses these courses will have programming masters in data analytics might have less but because both of these role will get you the roles like data scientist data engineer ml engineer ai engineer data analyst business analytics analyst bi intelligence developer etc so all of this um, tells you a story that data scientist ml engineer will require a lot of coding so it's not that you might not have coding but there are some courses which will get to it where it doesn't require any coding next one is again very very popular mis uh, which is masters in information system or masters of science in management information system also known as mis like it's very similar information system is purely focused on how the information works uh, with the systems uh, or like basically computer systems and database and architecture and all of that they have multiple paths like it could go from cloud networking business analyst route management information system becomes a little interesting because it does add like leadership and soft skills and communication and business side of it so you have to be careful when you're looking at this courses because one might be very technical in nature and one might technical plus management so if you're someone who wants to do something like tech management type of roles mis might be better versus just ms in is which is information systems the typical roles you will get out of this are it managers it consultant the consulting roles sap roles erp consultant salesforce developer system analyst technical project manager project manager product manager and only product manager and project manager are for the mis part which is truly management information system before we move on to the next exciting part of the video i just want to quickly mention about my newsletter community we have more than 8000 people who is receiving weekly free newsletter where we combine all the information which you are watching in this video into text format which is easily digestible it's a free no cost to you also we send out resources like product management guide data analyst guide job openings and other resources which we have going on so if you're interested in receiving such informative newsletter straight to your inbox consider subscribing you can simply go to udj.com/newsletter or you can even go to the link in the description and i'll take you to the same page and now I'll let you enjoy the next part of the video. To follow that there is also a course called Masters in Engineering Management also known as MEM. Again this is becoming more and more and more popular because people want to do tech plus management and this is another course which will help you understand the engineering concepts with the concept of management leadership business. So this is combining the how do engineering work and how do you manage the engineering projects. So 
typical roles you will get out of this is software scrum master project manager engineering manager business analyst all of the tech management role is what you can get out of it similar to engineering management there are same kind of course work but it's just called different like for example dallas has something called itm information technology management uh, some co- colleges have masters in information technology some colleges are called masters in technology management so these are three different variation but very similar where you learn the technology the concepts of technology and how technology works in today's world with the concept of management how do you manage projects which are technology related and again these are the roles which you will get is business analyst consultant all the big fours will hire someone from like masters in technology management or itm uh, definitely get into product management project management scrum master product owner all kinds of like tech management role so these are the type of role you will get in to from the ITM or TM or information technology moving on to the next one which is very interesting i don't know why not a lot of people talk about it if i were to go back i might choose engineering management or this masters which is masters in human computer interaction this is basically going to teach you the human psychology like how does human interact with computer that's why its name says as human computer interaction hci and these are specifically for product designer ux designer ui researcher and uh, product manager product marketing manager uh, marketing analyst as well uh, anything which has design thinking as a principle and anything that requires like design parts of it like apple hires a lots and lots of people of ux uh, designer ux researcher speaking of product manager and ux person uh, there's also masters in product management i again i don't think a lot of people talk about this uh, but there are like variations of product management it might not call product management but there are courses which are masters in product management which will teach you the world of product management and there's not just the digital because i think whenever people think of product management they just think of like softwares and apps and website but there's also like hardware part of it this is a product right so someone thought of it that we should make a wireless earphones that is a role of a product manager someone thought that this is a product and they built the product from end to end and there are many many roles in product management like growth product manager product marketing manager launch product manager so all kinds of product management role will apply to this masters in product management another one which is interesting one and i recently did a podcast with someone who actually did masters of science in marketing analytics i i don't think a lot of people talk about this again it's not a lot of talked topic but it is a stem program and it is the combination of marketing world like marketing sales and business with the analytics perspective so someone who do something like this will become marketing analyst data analyst operations analyst all of those things will be under this marketing analytics masters program if you think about it like it's the marketing strategies which are data driven so all the decisions that are made on marketing are based on the data they are like looking at it and then they are reiterating that and designing the marketing strategies based on data talking about marketing there's also program marketing ms in digital marketing and ms in social media marketing but i don't i'm not too sure about social media marketing i'm 100% sure about digital marketing because it is so much more broader than just social media social media is just part of digital marketing like you can look think about website designing and affiliate marketing marketing and email marketing and newsletter marketing uh, there are so many different aspects to digital marketing and there's a lot of analytics to the digital marketing world and so it is a booming field and marketing is not going away everyone builds a product but doesn't think about marketing because they think that oh my product is great enough that i don't need marketing true but it doesn't work that way a lot of companies do have marketing have to do marketing so this will teach you the concepts of marketing but then also a little bit of analytics so then it makes it more interesting on how to design your digital marketing strategies now there is also another masters program which is masters in marketing technology which is little different than marketing analytics because marketing analytics is purely focused on marketing plus uh data marketing technology is more tool based focus and it uh, and you have to understand the sales process business process and marketing 
and then what are the different different tools which you have to leverage it and automate this thing so it's automation of marketing like if maybe someone is sending a newsletter but that newsletter how did that newsletter perform you got my newsletter and you clicked on a link i want to see that data and i want to see how the customer journey happens putting that into my CRM which is a customer relationship management tool loan origination system and all of that putting all of this together or marketing tech world or mars tech stack which you will have to do as a person who is a martech manager or a martech developer marketing automation specialist marketing automation engineer there are so many fields in this marketing world if you so if you're someone who understands marketing comes from marketing background this might be something you might be interested in doing and digging further all right let's talk about the next one which is masters of science in operations management which is again from the business perspective amazon walmart all these big big company they are there are so many operations happening and a lot of them are manual processes so your job is to understand the different different processes in the company and you understand what are the different systems they are using and then automating this and making it efficient there's so much waste happens in so many companies like if you think about walmart 711 chipotle all these chains which have which are there mcdonalds there has to be operations and systemizing that operation is what you will learn in this masters program and then you will become either operations analyst supply chain manager operations manager logistics manager and so on and so forth another one speaking of operation is supply chain so masters in supply chain management again very very booming if you come from industrial background or mechanical background you might want to pivot your career into supply chain like tesla rivian all these car companies go through so much supply chain issues so your job will be to focus on the supply chain of it any consumer products based company has to have go through supply chain amazon has a very 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 big department of supply chain because you can imagine they have to deal with so many vendors and so many products and the warehouses and they have to deliver and dispatch it and so all of this supply chain management you will learn in this and then you'll become supply chain manager supply chain analyst operation analyst etc so those are the roles you will get in this now there are some courses which is what i'm going to tell you next one which is masters in project management i wouldn't recommend doing masters in project management purely just project management if they don't have the flexibility to choose specialization so there are courses from northeastern universities i think there is a course masters in project management but you can like branch out there's only four core courses with the rest six courses you can branch out to supply chain specialist or data specialist or like product management specialist so now you become you have a specialization you might not even need to choose a specialization you can pick from all the industry now it's not just project management but also product management supply chain so you can pick a field and you can deep dig deeper in it so there you have it i wanted to make you aware of all these different programs which are all tech related programs and someone especially if you are coming from non tech background you can transition into tech by choosing one of these masters degree the key thing i want to teach you is that you should look into the coursework before you make a decision and then another thing you want to focus on is that the career role or the target you want to get after the masters is that aligned with your passions is that something you want to do doing those type of research will help you make a final decision but i hope if you enjoyed this video so far i'm pretty sure you want to watch these video which are is mis really for you or is engineering management really for you i'll see you guys in the next one until then keep smiling and keep hustling you got to hustle every single day